To remove breaths in Adobe Audition, I like to use a tool called Noise Gate, which automatically detects audio that is below the set and audio level threshold and it removes or rather subdues it depending on what settings you use and I like to use it to automatically remove majority of the breaths in my audio recording and the rest of them you can remove manually by just scanning your whole recording so to apply noise gate the first thing you'll have to do is figure out what your noise floor is and you can do that by recording in a quiet environment and not making any noise for example is here and then you select that part of your audio and you play it back and you want to look at the playback level meter and figure out where it peaks so for me it's somewhere around in between uh, minus 49 to minus 48 decibels so I know that my noise floor is roughly that and now I marked the breaths in my my recording we can play it right they're very significant and what you're going to want to do is select your whole audio recording and you will go to effects amplitude and compression and dynamics make sure these boxes are unchecked the compressor and expander and the auto gate box is checked you can copy the release hold and attack settings this will make sure that your uh, noise gate is not working abruptly so it doesn't if it completely cuts all of the audio uh, immediately when it goes below the set threshold it's going to be very apparent you will hear these abrupt changes from uh, slightly noisy to completely silent dead silent audio and you don't want to have that it's going to be annoying so that's why you have the attack release and hold setting so it works more like a fade in and fade out and then we have the threshold which is going to be different for everyone depending on what kind of a noise floor you have and my noise floor was around minus uh, 49 decibels and um, I like to go about 10 decibels higher than that so it is for me the threshold is minus 39 and you can use that as a general rule it's not a hard rule but it will give you an idea where a threshold is but then you can also play around and see what works the best for you you don't want to go super high because if you do that you will end up uh, cutting the beginnings and ends of your sentences and it's not going to sound good so it's a balance of not too much and not too little um, and then you're going to click apply and look at these uh, breaths here you can see they've been haven't been completely removed and that's that's great because you want to have some some of those breaths in your recording it sounds natural when we speak one to another in real life uh, we hear these breaths all the time uh, we just don't notice them because we're so used to hearing them so having some breaths in your audio recording is natural you just don't want them to be very uh, significant and as you can see in this whole audio recording noise gate kind of I uh, cleaned up it uh, a lot and now you don't have to do that much of the manual labor although I like to go through my whole audio recording and scan for like manually for for noises like this one and then I would just uh, remove it um, just make sure if you're deleting any parts uh, of your audio don't delete them here uh, in the in the waveform uh, timeline because if you do that and if your audio is attached to some some kind of a video it is going to change the timeline of the audio and it's no longer going to match to the video's uh, timeline instead you want to make sure you're doing all the changes here because it won't affect uh, the timeline